Chris, um, does it feel like it's been a long week or a long few months? <laughs> it's, it's been a hard few weeks, but it's been absolutely worth it. Stunning performances from everybody that came to the competition. Great performances from the Scottish team as well, which was a delight to see. Did the event um, meet or surpass your expectations? I'd say it exceeded our, uh, my expectations. We, uh, in terms of how it looked, the it looked fantastic. The lighting and the uh, performance of all the fencers was, it was a superb spectacle for everyone who came, and I think for everyone who was watching online. So it was, yeah, outstanding. Um, important for Scottish fencing that it was a success and a, a, a great success. At that. Absolutely. Uh, one of the main goals was to was to showcase our sport and, and get as many people involved in the sport as we, as we can. I think we've shown how exciting and dynamic it can be. Um, and uh, how much people can enjoy it when they come to watch it. Um, what's next then? How do you capitalise? We've heard a lot of talk over the last few years about legacy in sport. I just wonder if Scottish fencing can capitalise on anything from this. We've, we've, we've planned to capitalise on this as much as we could in, in, this, in this area, in, in, around Largs and in North Ayrshire. We've uh, been working very hard with uh, the local schools and, and, set up and established a new fencing club in this venue. So we hope that uh, this will become a, a home for fencing in Scotland um, and that everybody in the area will, will, will recognise it. Would you ever do it again? <laughs> I'd like to do um, uh, similar events like this, maybe not for six days, but for, 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 for one day would be, would be, would, would, would be nice. But um, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it was a long story. Well, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.